got to love the all-star festivities. Always a great show. We'll be back to get this thing started after this. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show brings you the MLB All-Star Game. It's the National League All-Stars taking on the American League All-Stars. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. Singy, always special when we get together to call the All-Star Game. Well, we've done a lot of these together, and sometimes you come in and think, ho-hum, another year. But once you look and you see these All-Star players, their uniforms are, them interacting with one another, you realize just how special it is. It's going to be a great one tonight. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. Getting the nod in this one, Corbin Burns. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he comes in hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And the righty deals. Strike two. One and two. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Here's Pete Alonso. Man at second. Chop back up the middle. Henderson throws the first, and that takes care of Alonso. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here's Turner now. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air. Look for the right pitch up and then smoke it. And that one nope, off the inside forward. edge. You walked him. Batting four. The first baseman. Here's Harper oh. now. Harper. Left hand hitter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. That's it. And now it's even up. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Still two and two after the foul ball. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even That's though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. William Contreras in the on deck circle. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing. Into center. He's got it. Runner tags from third. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job to drive in that run from third. And here's the catcher, William Contreras. 
If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Two outs. Burns with a move to first. Turner back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Righty delivers. Turner runs. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Man, is he fast. That is so fun to watch. Foul ball still a one and two count. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of the first. National Leaguer is out in front. One to nothing. Back in Arlington, and on the hill in this one, Paul Steens. How about a scouting report on him? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Just missed. Fouls one off, two and two. And he deals. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Well, the batter will be the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And it's strike two. But this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And another ball. Righty to the plate. That's the ball. Three Aaron one. Judge. Waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. Swing and a miss. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for him there. We head to the second in Arlington. The NL is on top. One to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the veteran outfielder, Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. Here's a 1 1. Got the back going too soon and strike two. Feeling the change up right there. Just pulled the string. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon. Maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Out there to center. And there's one down. Oh. 
batting seven, the third baseman. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swing and strikeout. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That one fouled off two and two. Two down, nobody on. And now the count is full. Counts full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Two out spaces empty. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Soto gets under it, brings it in for the third out. Nothing doing here this half. Now to the bottom of the second. The NL leads it one to nothing. And we're back. Aaron Judge at the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Kicks and fires. Judge comes up empty there. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. And the right-hander deals. And there's a the ball. Judge rips that one. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run, and that's exactly what they needed. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working how is that fastball out of here base is empty one away jose ramirez digs in now the line to kick the pitch and a ground ball to first and he takes it himself for the out. Batting seven. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Fastball for a strike. One and two. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Two and two. That's inside. On a line base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. 
Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Here's Adley Rutschman singing. He was the first player taken in what has turned out to be a talented draft class. Well, Boog, 2019 delivered a youth movement for Major League Baseball. Adley, Bobby Witt Jr., Corbin Carroll, and the list goes on. It's extra special when you're the top pick in a class with so much talent. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. That's the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We head on now to the top of the third. All tied 1-1. back to start the third and there's a new arm on the mound Tanner Howe he has a great slider with tons of movement Profar climbs in on that left side here's a guy who is one of the best in the business you're talking about looking for a hit somewhere and this is a guy you go to yeah, he's so fun to watch as a hitter. Bats from both sides of the plate, and he's so rare in that he really makes a lot of contact batting both righty and lefty. And, you know, it takes a ton of time in the cage to maintain both of those swings. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground to the left. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. So the lineup flips over. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Tied up here in the early going. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One and two. The count. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Two outs. Bows it off, still one and two. That's down oh. and in. Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Fires over to that. first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. NL goes down quietly. Still tied 1 1. Bottom half of the third, and they bring in a new pitcher, Max Freed. Here is Marcus Simeon. We talk so much about how starting pitchers prepare for their starts. I talked with Max Freed, and one of the things he told me back in 19, he and Lucas Giolito started using MLB The Show to go over scouting reports. The 1-2. And another ball. Max said he's not sure who actually started at first, but it was 2019, and he and Giolito, who were teammates together in high school in Los Angeles, they had the idea to become more familiar with the opposing lineup using MLB The Show. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. That's one of those lookout pitches. As soon as it leaves the pitcher's hand, you start bracing for impact, knowing that it's going to be hard to get out of the way of that one. Simeon on at first. Nobody out. Now 
That one oh. missed. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Step off, throw to first. Hey! Simeon back in. Now a pop up on the infield. And it's caught for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Runner on the goal. That's in for a strike. Safe and second with a stolen base. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But, you know, it happens. Here's Juan Soto. Man on second, two down. Fought off foul. And now the count is even. Two and two. Runner at second, two down. Here in the last half of the third. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And now the lefty keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Man at second. This to third. And foul ball. Swing and a miss. And that is that. No runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to inning number four. All tied 1-1. Start the fourth, Cole Reagan. Cole Reagan. Trey Turner now. Leading off for the National League. The shortstop, Trey Turner. Just nope. missed. Oh. Two one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The lefty fires upstairs. Down is full. To third, Ramirez. That's the first out in the top of the four. Now back, first base. Bryce Harper to the plate. A wind in the pitch. That one down the line, and that's just foul. All tied up, top half of inning number four. 
Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Now the batter now, William Contreras. Ball. Yeah, there's a ball. Two outs. And he walked Ball him. Four. Take your base. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if now we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch. Left field. He's got it. And that is that. And L leaves one. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. Welcome back. And they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Hunter Green. Here is Aaron Judge for the American League. The center fielder, Aaron Judge. And yeah, that's in there at the knees for a strike. One and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one, two. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. So up next, your Don Alvarez. As a batter, he's known for performing better in these night games. He might start two for two in this one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. Two, but I two. still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And here it comes. And ball another count. ball. Base is empty, one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a 3-2. Ripped on the ground a second. Sends it to first. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. Now that third baseman. Here's Jose Ramirez. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball still a one and two count. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Got him swinging. AL down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. And there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Seth Lugo. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Yeah. Lugo. Now the third baseman, Alec Bull. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. 
That's the third. Whips it to first. One away here in the fifth. The back. The center fielder. Teoscar. And now the center fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Garrett Crochet, the left-hander, up and throwing. Classe, also throwing. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. Nope, he held back. Next offering is downstairs. Full count. On the ground. Foul and ball. it goes just foul. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. No left field, number 10. Man at first with one gone. Here's the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. The pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Down and in, moved his feet. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And yeah, the righty deals. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two down. The second Back to the top of the lineup. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. One and two to Chop to third. Ramirez. Over to first. They get the out on Marte. That's out number three. One left for the National Leaguers. Halfway home, all even, one apiece. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Logan Webb. Now pitching for the National League. Number Vladimir Guerrero Jr. getting ready to hit. That one finds the zone. It's a ball in two strikes. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Helsley up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Scott, a left-hander, also throwing. One and two now. Swing and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Adley Rutschman. Right-handed reliever. And a base hit right there. Hernandez quickly throws it in. Runner holds it second, but they've got something going on here. Back-to-back -back singles, other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field, so that definitely felt good. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Marcus Simeon, the next to hit. Swing 
swinging a miss struck him out and that is a big first down. Not a big fastball on the mound by today's standards, just low 90s, but when you can pitch backwards like that and sometimes save the fastball for later in the count, it just sort of explodes on hitters and gets right by them. That's the first fastball they've had, and clearly the timing just wasn't there for him. Next is the designated hitter, Stephen Kwan. Two on, one out. Grounder might be two. There's one, and that's two. Poultry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Tyler Anderson. Anderson. Pete Alonso now at the plate. The designated hitter, Pete Alonso. The one two. And yeah, that's that a little miss, high. It's a good take. Just off the outside edge. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Bounced out to short. Henderson over to first in time. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Trey Turner at the plate. Turner. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Gets it to first, the first and they get three. Turner for the out. Harper. Here's Bryce Harper. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Next pitch uh -huh. is outside. Oh. And that's a strike. Two, two. And that one hammered way back there. And that one is out of here. He'll circle the bases, and they jump out front. It's 2-1. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through it. Base is empty with two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. Next offering in there for a strike. Two it's two and two. Got him. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Christopher Sanchez. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So 
this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Gunnar Henderson will hit next. The American League. The shortstop. The lefty ready and a 1 1. To the right side, Marte. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Good eye That's right down. there. The Double barreled action in the bullpen. Shohei Otani up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Lopez also getting ready. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off. Two and two. Good job to fight that one off. And the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. And Full another count. ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Ground ball to Bohm. Tosses across the first. Judge out of the play. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning coming up. The NL leads this one, two to one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Harvey Landis. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Harvey Landis. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, C.J. Abrams. Clips the corner, one and two. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. One away. Now batting. The third baseman. Here's Alec. the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Oh. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Up the middle, Henderson throws the first in time. The batter, the center fielder, Teoscar. Teoscar first Hernandez and digs in now. Ball to strike, the pitch. Just no, missed. Down. Ball. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. Two and two's the count. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Judge going back. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Hernandez into second, and he's got a double. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. So two down. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerks in pro form. Just missed. Hernandez at second with two down. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. So remaining in the game defensively, C.J. Abrams. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jeff Hoffman. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Anthony Santander. And he would be the tie and run boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fights that one away, still one and two. Righty delivers. Sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the play today. Pinch hitter coming on, Corey Seager, looking to start something with one gone. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. This is the type of hitter his club wants at the plate, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got him! He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. And here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a pitch. Gets the slider in there for a strike. to short Turner whips it across and Guerrero is set down 
And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing doing there for the American League. And our score remains 2 1. Staying in the game on defense, Anthony Santander. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Also into the ball game, Corey Seager. He's the new third baseman. Number five. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Silas Lynn. Number 18, Silas Lynn. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Luis Arias. And a pitch. And another ball. Left hand hitter waits. Close no, one man, man. doesn't get the call. And three that's and ball three. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. That one hey, misses. Hey. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches lead and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Tori Lavello making a move for a new bat. Freddie Freeman, a runner at first for him, nobody out. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one fouled off. And he deals. Fights it off. You'll see another. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next two, pitch. Two. Not close. Up high. That one to first, and it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. Tori Lavello making a move for a new bat. Ellie De La Cruz, good opportunity for him, first and second with nobody out. Here's a 1-1. And no, another ball. ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two one now. Runners on the move. Next offering is foul back. Two two down. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Ryan McMahon. Runners at first and second form with one down. The rise. The lead runner out at second, Freeman at first, one gone. And that's, that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Two on, one out. Swings through that one for strike two. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. At the belt and fires. Just off the outside edge. And it's three and two. William Contreras waiting for a turn at the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. So now a pinch hitter for the catcher, Will Smith. Big spot for him here. First and second, two down. And we're at the top of the eighth. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Throws from his knees. And very nicely done for the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. We'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. So remaining in the game defensively, Luis Arias. He entered the game to pinch hit and now man second base. Also entering the game, Ellie De La Cruz. He's in at shortstop. Also into the ball game, Ryan McMahon. He takes over as the new first baseman. Also entering the game, Will Smith. He takes over behind the plate. Matt Strong gets the call from the pen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. At the play, Adley Rutschman. The catcher. And now two and one. Action in the pen down there. Robert Suarez up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Otani, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. and misses struck him out couldn't catch up to the heater pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning down one any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting but now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate now it's the second baseman Marcus Simeon it off still one and two holding on to a one run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning oh that plunked him and that's now twice he's been hitting this one you just can't afford to make these kind of mistakes this late in the ball game you need to make the offense earn everything down the stretch and that right there was just a freebie if you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The 1-1. One -one. Right. Swing and a miss. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Snap throw to first. Nope. Simeon gets back easily. One run game, one out, one on. That one the other way. Off balance feed, there's one. Can't hang on. The batter, number two, shortstop. So they're making the move for a bat off the bench. Isaac Paredes. And this is a big at bat coming, Boo. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. Down the line, and it's foul. 